So on this little adventure, we are going to look at an abandoned ship out here on the Rito. It's actually a beautiful boat, but it's been there for a while. And it's one of my favorite uh, spots on the Rito. Wish me luck as I tour the Rito in search of the SS Pumper. So I just launched here on the Rito. Beautiful morning, somewhat early. Hey, early for me. It's really hot already. It's uh, midsummer here in the Ottawa area. And uh, it's not too busy so far. I'm really surprised. It's, uh, it's a weekend, which I normally try not to come out on because it's so busy out here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice and quiet. Just some birds, a couple people fishing. Really, that's about it. So, pretty nice. The water's nice and calm, as you can see. So on this little adventure, we are going to look at an abandoned ship out here on the Rito. It's called the SS Pumper. It's been here for a while. It's abandoned because it's essentially parked here because, uh, well, somebody owns it, but nobody is uh, using it right now. It's actually a beautiful boat, but it's been there for a while. And it's one of my favorite uh, spots on the Rito. I remember passing it a whole bunch of times while I'm uh, driving up here and I never really knew what it was so I looked it up and there was a couple people in Ottawa that gave me some information about it and I uh, decided I wanted to get out and check it out and last year I was able to go out with the drone um, I asked permission of the local marina and I went out and got some footage it was a lot of fun to get footage of this boat especially uh, just sitting there in the water so I really really like that now this year now that I have a kayak, well, I really wanted to get out and check it out and uh, get a close-up view, shall we? Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a couple things today. We're going on the river for a bit. It'll be a couple hours, I guess. We're going to stop off at one of the conservation areas up here, and we're going to get some, uh, make some coffee, have a little bit of a light breakfast, and then we're on our way to the SS Pumper, the boat on the Rito. So, so far the water looks beautiful. The sun is getting hotter, as you can see from the sweat cam. That's me sweating, that's called the sweat cam. Anyways, one of the things on my bucket list, there's a bunch of those, but when it comes to uh, this area and boating, is to uh, do the whole Rito canal system uh, in a kayak stopping on various locks to uh, go camping in different areas and enjoying the small towns like I mentioned earlier. I love the fact that those small towns are on this river and each town is kind of unique. They're, uh, they're all beautiful in their own way. Um, and it'd be great to just go through them. It would take a while, I'm not even sure. I haven't done any real research, but uh, I've watched a couple other episodes of uh, YouTubes where people have done that. And a matter of fact, I have actually shot uh, for my work years ago it was a series called The Rito Runs Through It, and I was the uh, I was the main cameraman. And literally, we went from uh, the Kingston area all the way up to Ottawa. Uh, we did it over several days. We weren't camping or anything like that. We would stop at a certain spot. Uh, the next day, pick up the spot up again. Uh, it was great. We were using uh, one of their boats uh, and uh, their captain and their crew, and uh, they were awesome. And it was a lot of fun to see how beautiful some of these locks are. I never really got to appreciate that until you actually get out there and you're enjoying these locks. It was uh, quite breathtaking. And it's something I'll always remember. I would really love to be able to do something similar now. That was a lot of fun. And we were able to sit and talk to uh, some of the people uh, in those small towns and, and talk about how important this uh, waterway and this Rideau Canal system is to this area. Not just Ottawa and Kingston, all these little towns along the way. It's so important. It made them grow, it made them who they are. and. Uh, uh, they all really appreciate uh, having this waterway. So I too appreciate it because I'm able to uh, get out on it and enjoy the open water. All right, let's get moving. So now we're coming on our first stop of the day. This is the W.A. Taylor Conservatory or Conservation Area. And uh, we're going to stop here. We're going to get the kayak out of the water and 
well, we're going to stretch our legs, but we're also going to uh, make some coffee because it is coffee time. And I can't wait. So I didn't bring enough coffee for everybody. Um, I apologize. It's very, very rude. Very un-Canadian of me. But, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Well, that was a good paddle. It took me a little bit longer than I thought, and it was a lot hotter than I thought. Isn't it always the case? Why is that? Yeah, it was hot. I tried to get it earlier, just wasn't able to. Uh, anyways, this is a nice spot. This is the uh, Taylor Conservation Area here on the Rito. And uh, let's make some coffee, shall we? Still have some more paddling to do. I'm gonna finish one more of these. I gotta apologize. I didn't make enough for everybody at home. I really, sh I, you know what? I really should have, and I apologize. If you leave me a comment in the uh, comment section, I'll uh, I'll make you some up and have them delivered. Because these are homemade, of course. No, they're not homemade. I could not possibly make anything like this. Uh, my wife and daughter do make a pretty mean chocolate chip cookie, but these chocolate little chocolate croissants are pretty darn good. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my coffee, then we gotta get out of here, and we got to uh, hit the water. Here we go. Okay, so I just left the uh, Taylor Conservation Area. That was some delicious coffee, and I love those little uh, croissant things. Uh, very good. Anyway, so now we're headed up, back up the Rito to the uh, SS Pumper. I'm not sure how long it is. It's not too bad. Uh, take me a little bit of while to get there. There's a lot more boat traffic out now, so got to keep the head up now. But it uh, should be fun. We should be there definitely within the hour. And hopefully it's not too busy around there. We can explore uh, the boat a little bit. Here we go. One of the best things about getting this kayak, I've only had it, you know, for a couple months. This is my first real season out here on the water. Um, there was a lot to learn safety wise and I don't take any chances. So that's very important. Um, but I love the freedom and everyone talked about when you're paddling a kayak or paddling a canoe that the freedom you have out on the water um, and I didn't really appreciate it. I did a little bit of canoeing and kayaking before but nothing nothing major um, I'm really hoping to get out to some really nice spots I won't be doing any white water uh, kayaking of course I like the uh, nice smooth water um, and I'm hoping to see a little bit more wildlife on my way here today a lot of boats so I think maybe scaring away the wildlife one of the things I noticed right away when I'm out on the water is how peaceful everything is. So we're not far now from the SS Pumper. The river is still pretty busy, but you know what? There's not a lot of people. I can see the boat up front. And there's not a lot of people around. So I'm hoping it'll be nice and quiet up there and I get some uh, nice shots from the boat. And uh, maybe if I have time, I'll get the drone up. We'll see. If it's too busy, I won't uh, for safety reasons. But. Let's give it a try, shall we? All right, let's get moving. We're almost there. Okay, as you can see, that beautiful SS pumper's behind me. Uh, it's been uh, docked here for a while, and uh, it's a big, big thing for uh, 
kayakers and boaters to come by and uh, take a look at it. Uh, not a lot of people know about this boat, which is kind of weird because it's, uh, I know, I'm kind of biased. I find it really, really nice. I find it beautiful. They have an abandoned boat out here on the river. It's very unique, to be honest with you. Kind of wish it wasn't abandoned and uh, it would be put back in the water again. I'm sure there'd be a lot of work to be done, but from what I hear, it can be done. It just uh, takes a lot of money, a lot of upkeep to get that done. So hopefully that could happen uh, because uh, I would love to see that up and down the river again. It's uh, uh, part of our history and part of uh, North American's history. So I'd really like to, uh, to see it, maybe someday. So right across from the SS Pumper, there's a great little marina called Long Island Marina. So if you're boating or if you're out and you uh, need to launch a boat, you can launch it here. The prices are pretty good, I think. Um, and it's a beautiful spot just to enjoy this lovely boat. So if you're out on the Rito, I highly recommend to take a stop at the SS Pumper and really enjoy this beautiful boat. If you're on a canoe or a kayak, you can really take some time with it and really enjoy it. Bring your camera too, because uh, I think it's a pretty nice thing to uh, to shoot and film and to uh, get some photos of. All right, gotta get going. It's getting hot. It's still early, but it is getting hot. So let's get. Going.